10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We are on our way to space for IQPS again with a nice clean launch from the pad from Launch Complex 1. And Max-Q is the first milestone that we'll come across, which is that point in flight where Electron faces the toughest atmospheric forces. To accommodate, the Rutherford engines will throttle down just a touch before they're brought back up to full power to continue the mission. Let's listen in. Approaching Max-Q. Cleared Max Q. And like clockwork, there is the call that Electron has successfully passed through Max Q. And those Rutherford engines are burning bright and beautiful on your screen as Electron makes its way more than 21 kilometres above Earth at more than 2,000 kilometres per hour. And we are only 60 seconds or so away from stage two's time to shine as we approach Miko, or main engine cutoff. And Miko is the point in flight in which Electron's nine first stage Rutherford engines shut down in preparation for that stage separation. Now with its role in the mission complete, the first stage will be jettisoned, and then it's all about the second stage and its single Rutherford engine that will ignite to keep the mission moving. And there are just seconds between stage one engine throttle down, Miko, stage separation, and then second stage ignition. So let's listen into the operators in mission control now as they call out those events in real time. 15 seconds to staging. Enter it for now detect mode. Miko confirmed. Stage operation confirmed. Stage two ignition confirmed. Stage two guidance is not confirmed. That is Miko complete and a nice clean stage separation. And the second stage's Rutherford engine is accelerating nicely now to take us p almost past, there it is, 100 kilometers above Earth. And in the meantime, the fairing's important job of protecting the QPS SAR-15 satellite through the initial launch phase is almost complete. So once we reach around 135 kilometers in altitude, the spacecraft can be exposed to space in preparation for deployment. So those two halves of electrons fairing will separate and fall away. Confirmed. That's what we like to hear and see. Fairing separation is confirmed. And now at T plus 3 minutes 45 seconds into flight for the Wisdom God guides as Electron passes are more than 8,000 kilometres an hour in speed. And hello, of course, to QPS SAR-15 on your screen there, safely integrated to the kick stage on top of the second stage as it continues on to our 575 kilometre target orbit. We've got six and a half minutes or so of engine burn time for this stage two Rutherford. And along the way, we will reach Electron's next mission milestone, battery hot swap. That is scheduled to take place at T plus six minutes, 30 seconds.
Now, the reason Electron performs its unique battery hot swap maneuver comes down to the Rutherford engine. They don't have a traditional gas turbine. Instead, their fuel pumps are powered by brushless DC electric motors, and powering those pumps are batteries. The engineers in our team realise there's no need to carry the mass of depleted batteries all the way to orbit when we can use that mass for payload instead. So they came up with a way of getting rid of those empty batteries and swapping them out mid-flight for a new set. And that process is coming up next. Nominal, 200 seconds remaining. HVB discharge nominal, approaching, approaching hot swap in roughly 30 seconds. Richardson confirmed. Hot swap successful. There we go. That is a successful hot swap and Electron's second stage continues on to orbit with a fresh set of batteries to power Rutherford's fuel pumps. Now these pumps give us really great control over engine throttle capability that enables us to squeeze every drop of performance out of every drop of fuel. And that is very important on a small rocket with limited fuel margins. Electron is now traveling at more than 16,000 kilometers per hour, just about to hit 250 kilometers above Earth, with engine burn scheduled to end at around T plus nine minutes and nine seconds into flight. So before long, it will be time for SECO, or second engine cutoff, which is the moment in flight where, uh, where the Rutherford sorry, shuts down in preparation for kickstage separation. Now the mission is proceeding nominally, so let's just enjoy these views of Rutherford powering us all the way to orbit. Just a couple of minutes left in this burn until we hear that call out that Electron's second stage engine will throttle down in preparation for shutdown or seat go. Now that bright orange engine nozzle you see on screen will shortly turn grey as it cools down rapidly in the cold of space. And this is our visual sign that the second stage burn is complete. But we'll also hear the call out from Mission Control that we have had SECO and kick stage separation. That's our audio confirmation that this primary phase of the mission is complete ahead of the kick stage's coast phase. So let's listen in for it. Guidance terminal, 20 seconds remaining. Seco confirmed.